it's important. It's a, the biggest issue facing the local community here in the greater Mayfair, Holmesburg, Taconi area, because quite simply, people are moving away because of properties are not being adequately maintained by landowners, by, by property owners who seem to be disproportionately from the New York City area. I'll get a little more into detail, but um, politically, why I, that's also an issue is that I you know, recognized that pretty right away in my, in my campaign when I was doing doors, you know, person after person in Mayfair and, and Taconi, they would bring up that they were having this um, you know, property on, on their block that was a real eyesore, and they were just at wit's end, and they were getting no services from, from the city or, or the state. And I made this a, uh, a signature issue of my campaign, and I think that it was an issue that, that Perzell really, um, maybe he, just his attention had been diverted to other matters, but it, it really, I think, uh, got him by surprise. And, um, you know, since, since I got elected, I've been working on it. And um, we've been working with the city. Actually, even before I actually got elected, I, was, uh, I used to work for city councilman Bill Greenley, and I contacted some people in Michael Nutter's office, and they actually started to compile for the first time a database of absentee landlords in the city of Philadelphia with a special focus in Northeast Philly because this seems to be the most problematic part of the city when it comes to these, these properties. The reason why our part of the city is facing uh, the crisis uh, in regards to absentee landlords and other parts of the city, the problem isn't as bad, is disproportionately our absentee landlords there are not suburban Philadelphia landowners. They're not coming from Huntington Valley or, or Abington. What happened in the last 10 years was during the real estate boom of the, of the previous decade, there were advertisements in a Chinese language newspaper in New York City about these great investment opportunities in Philadelphia. Nearly all the investment opportunities that were being advertised were in my district or, or Mike McGeehan's district or possibly Tony Payton's district. And you ha would have busloads of um, mostly Chinese American um, investors coming down to tour and, and buy properties in our community. And because they live in New York City or some in Connecticut, and so many of them actually don't understand English, it's been a real challenge for the local authorities to contact them and get them to basically um, live by various city ordinances. Another problem that I saw right away was the city actually was not doing their job in regards to enforcing this, the laws on the books. So we've been on them every day. Every day we're, we're calling um, you know, different city agencies, whether it's l and or, or Health, and basically alerting them to a problem property. And uh, I think they're probably sick of us at this point, but that's what we're going to continue doing because you know, you, you have to be vocal and you have to be um, loud about the problems in, in your neighborhood. If you're a representative, you're elected to represent, and that's what we've done. And um, you know, we're going to continue working on this matter. And what our goal is to basically find out who exactly are the most problematic absentee landlords and really focus in on those people. Uh, that's what we're working on, and we, we actually, um, uh, upon my request, there's actually city workers compiling a list right now. Um, to my total surprise, when we got involved in this process, I was expecting the city to basically be able to provide us with basic information, like who owns property, you know, this property. Could, because a lot of the properties are actually owned by a corporation, the form an LLC, where it's not an actual direct owner. So we actually don't know who, uh, the city doesn't know who the, the actual owner is. So um, the city's working on that right now at, at our behest. And um, yeah, that's uh, hopefully in a, in a few months they'll be able to get back to us. And if they don't, then we're gonna you know, continue to raise hell with them.